This is an April update on my 112 gallon average reef. I've got quite a few new corals in the tank and everything is looking pretty good. Before I get to the new pieces, I have to show the Gorgonian which was in trouble for a while. Looking at it now, you can't even tell that something was wrong. It's got full polyp extension, it's looking real healthy, and if I didn't know any better I would say nothing was ever wrong with it. It was quite a scare though, but I'm glad things are back to normal. As for the new stuff, this Mary Cultured Acro is new. Uh, it's a real nice shade of blue. Blue is a real hard color to keep. Hopefully it will maintain its color. Speaking of blue, I got this little leptofrag, which is already encrusting to the rock. And behind that, an orange cyphastria. Lately I've been really into cyphastria. Here's a branching cyphastria, something I've wanted for a long time. Uh, not super rare, but not super common either. Normally I wouldn't put a frag plug dead center in my tank, but I wanted to get this pectina into the tank as soon as possible. Uh, it's the brightest coral in my tank, and I'm going to let it grow out here before I mount it. On the plug it's a bit of an eyesore, but it's such a nice coral, I don't mind. The other change here is I've mounted the rhizo on a little piece of live rock. This got it off the glass, and it seems to get a little bit better flow now. I've had this coral many years, and it's never looked better. The rhizo is a bit of a controversial coral, but it's one of my all-time favorites. My elegance is doing well. These mushrooms are continuing to grow over everything. And the leathers are just continuing to grow. Getting bigger and bigger. Eventually I will have to prune this guy back. The Kenya trees I don't have to prune, but the self-propagation is starting to get annoying. I have about 90 frags in my frag tank, plus there's at least 50 on this rock here. The mandarin is not so much hiding as he's eating what's behind everything. This is probably my favorite view of the tank from the left side. Uh, one day when I do upgrade, which won't be for at least a few years, I hope to do a peninsula reef. But for now I enjoy looking at the side like this. I try to arrange my corals in a way so that you can't necessarily see everything looking dead on and you have to look past other corals to see the ones hiding behind it. The right side of the tank is basically completely full. The next addition will be addition by subtraction, cutting back this Kenya tree and maybe even removing some of these mushrooms as they are, choking out a lot of zoos and pallies. The left side, there's still some rock showing. I do have plans at the top to add a few more corals, but those are on hold for now. I gotta save some stuff for later. Otherwise, things will just continue to grow out and eventually you won't see the rock on that side either. The tank is probably 70, 80% full now. Uh, the yellow scopus tank will be added next month. And dare I say, the average reef is looking above average. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions, leave them below. Happy reefing.